Oh, ho, what is this? Not hanging out outside or in some broom closet today. Who would have guessed they'd put me in the studio? That's right. I, honestly, I didn't believe it either. But hey, welcome to Ask the Boys. I'm David Hellman. Nobody knows we're in here. Let's get to your questions before they figure it out. A great question from Peter says, by the end of training camp, are you more worried if the Cowboys wide receivers are dominating their DBs or if the Cowboys DBs are dominating the wide receivers? And honestly, Peter, no disrespect to the Cowboys receivers. I think they're good. It's a matchup the DBs need to win, right? I mean, we've talked so much about the potential of Cheeto Wuzie and Jordan Lewis. Byron Jones is moving the corner. He's so athletic. I think this is a rare circumstance where the Cowboys have more talent at DB than they do at receiver. We haven't been able to say that in like five or six years. I need the DBs to be able to win that. It's not a knock on the wide receivers. It's more of a testament to how much of talent I think they have in the secondary. Tying that in, because you know I love a good segue from John, he says, during these OTAs, have you seen any chemistry between Dak and his wide receivers? And yes, I have. Like, that's that's my point. I'm not trying to knock the Cowboys wide receivers. I think, I think they'll be good. And you see that with their relationship with Dak. I mean, uh, Terrence Williams and Cole Beasley have been here forever. Forget about them. But like guys like you know Lance Lenore, Noah Brown have been here since February working with Dak, getting their timing down. Alan Hearns has been out here since he signed in March. He's been working uh, often with Dak. And you've seen it in these practices. Dak even brought it up uh, the other day talking to the media. He said, you know, all these guys are running their routes the same way. It's almost interchangeable. He gave credit to wide receivers coach Sanjay Lau, and credit is due, but I credit the wide receivers too because these guys have been working. So, a lot to feel good about here in my opinion. Moving on to Drew, he says, and these are Drew's words, Cowboys D tackles, just so you know. He says, Malik Collins is injured right now. David Irving is a conundrum. Are we seriously satisfied at defensive tackle? Seems a little harsh, but I get where you're coming from. I do. Uh, and, and yes, honestly, I, I think they are, and I'll tell you why. And we've seen it at these OTAs with, with Malik and, and David Irving out. Two guys that kind of get lost in the shuffle, Jihad Ward, who was traded for, Dayton Jones, who, if you're like me, he was drafted as an end. I think of him as an end, but he's been starting at defensive tackle here. So that's two guys who I think can be in that rotation. Other names like Brian Price, Richard Ash hanging around, Daniel Ross is another guy. But Jihad Ward, Dayton Jones, I think those are your primary two, and I think the Cowboys feel really good about what they're showing there. So I think they'll be okay, but we'll see. We'll finish it up with a question from Texas Bacon. That's not your name. Use your real name, guys. But he's a, he, it's, I love the question. He says, Dave, what's your favorite beer? And I'm here to make a confession for y'all. I'm getting old. I can't, I can't handle like the IPAs and the hoppy beers. The craft beer craze, I wanna be a part of it, but like I'd rather just drink something easy. Like Miller Lite, for example, a Cowboys sponsor. So easy going down, so much fun. Uh, to sit by the pool and just not worry about hops or ABV. Like, just give me something in a can that I don't have to think about, because hops are for nerds. You heard it here first. Thank you for watching Ask the Boys. I gotta get out of here before somebody important figures out that I'm in here at all. Tune in next time. If you missed any part of this show or want to see more Dallas Cowboys content, check us out on the Cowboys Now app on any of your connected TV devices.